Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review will be Power Book 3, Raising Canaan Season 3, Episode 4. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, let's get into it. So this was a this was a, a decent episode. Um, a few different things went on. So you have uh, Ronnie, serial killer Ronnie. Has been going around. He's tired of waiting on Unique. And he's trying to hit up all the plugs to get some work. You meet uh, Snaps, which is supposed to be the Raising Canaan version of Chaz Williams. If you look him up, Google him. But Snaps is supposed to be that character in the storyline. Ronnie reaches out to him. And he's trying to get some investment money. They told him they'd give him a little investment money. Ronnie means business. Serial killer, but he means business. So he goes to Snaps first. Then he goes to Dean. Dean pretty much told him F off. And that Dean's boys pushed up on him. Ronnie gave him that serial killer look. Dean also went to uh, Joe Queen and um, I can't think of what's her name. The the girl who, y'all remind me in the comments, the girl who Rock um, was dealing with and Rock killed her her husband, but she really was the queen pin. Her cousin really got to connect and she's right underneath him. His name was Joe Queen, um, but I, I can't think of what her her name was right now, but you, you know who I'm talking about. Nevertheless, he went to he went to them. The cousin pretty much told him go about his business. He was saying he's not unique. He about his business, but she was giving him that look like uh, she might give him one on one. She might give him a look. I think that's where he gonna get his work from. So what happens is, you know, she don't like rock. And because she don't like rock, you know, that's, and you know, he don't like rock. So that's going to be, you can see them linking together. So that was Ronnie. And of course, I already spoke to him and Dean having issues. Then you had rock looking at Kane and trying to touch base with her son and went to go visit him at school, seeing he got runners. And, you know, he pretty much in his own world, he don't want nothing to do with his mom. So she's trying to look for a way back into her son's life. So, out of desperation, she set Kanan up. She went to his apartment where Famous is and planted a gun in Kanan's bag and told Famous don't say something, say nothing and gave Famous money. Set Kanan up when Kanan went to school. They found a gun, which pit him on. He is a minor. Pit him on... Um, uh, Child Protective Services, where they come monitor him. He got to be clean for six months, and they're going to do monitor stuff at the home. That's just what Rock wanted to bring him in. Meanwhile, she reached out to Howard so that the cops don't get involved to take the gun. So she got what she wanted by getting Kane and pulled back in the house. But that's going to push Kane away because once he find out she the one that set him up, that he's going to be done. And that's also going to put Famous in jeopardy because... She paid Famous to be quiet, and then Famous ain't had no loyalty to um uh, Now, he, it's, it's messy for Famous getting in the middle between Rock and Kanan, but he should still be loyal to Kanan because that's his boy, regardless if his mom is getting involved. So, it's going to be a problem with that. We know Famous' real name is Sean, which was Kanan's son's name was Sean, so... At some point, Famous, I believe, is going to die. So, it's just going to be who is going to be by right now. My guess, Kane is going to eventually kill him because he got to. Nevertheless, from there, uh, Rock Bart Kane and back to the house. So, none of this I'm saying is in secret. I'm just going over everybody's storyline within um, the episode. So, none of this is in sequence. I'm just telling everybody's storyline. Of course, Kanan went back to the house. Howard shows up to the house. Told Rock, pretty much stop calling him. You need to figure this stuff out. And um, Kanan looked 
and heard their conversation from the window. Earlier in the episode, we see when Rock went into Kanan's building when Kanan had left. You see the feds taking pictures of Rock. They also, Rock got the new on Southside. She got that new shopping center right there. She's trying to go clean, but the cop, the dirty cop showed up pretty much. They want to get on the payroll, get some money from her or whatever. So they did some research knowing who she was and who her son was. We're going to see how that turned out going forward. So from there, you also had Juke. Juke got in a group. So they got the group pretty much like TLC. A version of TLC and whoever the woman is, I don't even know what her name is, that came to Juke. She's pretty much going to be like the manager person or of the group. And she's pretty much supposed to be like Pebbles. to T What Pebbles was to TLC, that's what she looks like she's going to be to the um, Juke's group. Their group is, group is called Butter. So in TLC, we had Chili, we had T-Boz, and then you had... Uh, Left Eye, who was like more like the, you know, the rapper slash tomboy of the other of group in a sense, and so that's what they want Juke to be, but Juke got a voice, or whatever. So, of course, there's gonna be some friction with that, but she did make the group, and of course, the woman came and talked her stuff pretty much, saying I'm gonna whip y'all in shape, but y'all gonna be stars. So something's gonna come about with that for Juke. To receive another heartache or something. She probably get kicked out of the group or something like that. Something's going to happen. It, she's going to officially get rid of the singing part. Meanwhile, you got Lulu apologized to Marvin about standing Juke up. But he tells him about this down in Manhattan. That, you know, this jazz bar that they could turn into a popping spot. We know from screenshot of pictures on the internet that they eventually get that uh um they get that spot jumping and because we know famous is going to do a song up on the stage eventually so he's telling uh lulu's telling marvin i want to go clean but we can we could do something here marvin agrees but marvin reaches out to the guy he saved last episode his old buddy from the anger management and they pretty much was like they're going to be each other's buddies to hold each other accountable for their actions or whatever so marvin really his characters really did a 360 becoming a father of the year friend of the year trying to do everything right so we know they build a marvin up to get killed or go to jail <laughs> so you know everybody start to like his character then they kill him off or put him in jail so you got that going on Rock pretty much told Unique, we got to debt this situation. And um, Unique, he didn't have too much going on in this episode. But he did approach his brother. Pretty much told Ronnie he ain't crap. And because Ronnie went, he found out Ronnie went to ask Dean for, you know, the plug. And Ronnie said, pretty much said, nah. I ain't do that. And so Unique was like, what you what you saying? Um, Dean is a liar. Ronnie responded, basically said, it is what it is. I said what I said. Stone Cold. Unique pretty much said, you ain't crap. And stepped off as his brother. Ronnie mean business. Uh, we also see Howard in the episode. Um, the feds asked him, questioning him, stuff about this happening. Um, Southside, pretty much they don't believe in the story with Crown, and of course they still got Rod and the investigation taking pictures. So all this is going on, and like I said, none of this what I'm saying is in sequence. It's just basically going over what took place. Now the episode pretty much ends with serial killer Ronnie showing up in Dean's house. Dean with his grandmother. Dean, remember his grandma has the hearing aid. Took the hearing aid out, replacing batteries. Ronnie appears with the knife. Stab Dean up, kill him, just like a serial killer. Quiet, killed Dean, pissed stuff in order, and dipped off. Ronnie is a cannon, straight cannon, straight serial killer, like I've been calling him. And so uh, that's how the episode pretty much ended 
on that note, decent episode. Push the storyline forward. Tell me what you think about uh, what you think so far. Who you think going to um, will any of the Thomas brothers get killed, or will um, one of them go to jail? Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Till next time.